Hi everyone. Today we'll analyze some of the basic concepts in cognitive radio. First, we'll look what is radio spectrum. The electromagnetic waves in the frequency range from 3 hertz to 3000 gigahertz are called radio waves. They are widely used in many advanced technologies, particularly in telecommunication applications. To prevent interference between different users, the generation and transmission of radio waves is strictly regulated by International Telecommunication Union. ITU has control over the radio spectrum. They allocate spectrum for different applications based on their needs. Further, different parts of the radio spectrum are sold or given license to particular operators of the radio transmission services that is to certain cellular telephone operators or broadcast TV services. Radio spectrum is the range of frequencies used for wireless applications such as broadcast TV and radio, cell phones, satellite radio, wireless networks, Bluetooth, GPS and n number of general and specialized applications in day-to-day -day life. This table clearly shows how radio spectrum has been divided into decades of frequency ranges with its own designations. Next comes the applications of different frequency spectrum. It is difficult for these applications to utilize the same frequencies at the same time. For example, if a local TV broadcast station uses the same frequency as that of your cell phone, then your cell phone will not work well due to the interference from the TV or your TV picture would be fuzzy due to the interference from the cell phone. To avoid such conflicts, the radio spectrum is carved into different portions and each portion is allocated to one or more services that may be able to coexist with each other. It is stated in the sense that the allocation of the radio spectrum is similar to land use zoning. That is, a particular area of a town or city will be zoned for industrial applications, while another area will be zoned for agriculture use and yet another area will be zoned for residential purposes. There are two types of users in cognitive radio. They are the primary users and the secondary users. Primary users are those who have exclusive right to a certain frequency band. In other words, they are the license holders, that is the licensed users. They have the highest priority. There is no need for these type of users to be aware of cognitive users. There is further no additional functionalities or modifications needed for this type of users. Next comes the secondary users. They officially don't have access or license to any frequency band. They are the unlicensed users. They are also called as cognitive radio enabled users. They have low priority compared to that of the primary users. Spectrum hole is a licensed frequency band which is allocated to the primary user. But it is not being utilized for a particular time period in a specific geographic location where a secondary user can access it without interfering with the primary user. It is simply detecting whether the primary user is present or not in the allocated spectrum. The other name for spectrum hole is white space. The process of identifying the spectrum hole is called spectrum sensing. Dynamic spectrum access is a promising technology to alleviate the spectrum scarcity problem and to increase the utilization of the spectrum. It is a new paradigm that allows the secondary users to access the spectrum holes. It is a major application of cognitive radio. There are three main functions in dynamic spectrum access, namely spectrum awareness, cognitive processing and spectrum access. The first creates awareness about the RF environment, while the next gives intelligence and decision making function that performs several subtasks like learning and designing. The third gives the access policies which can manage interferences for coexistence of the secondary user. Further, there are different approaches of DSA models which can be classified as dynamic exclusive use, open sharing model and hierarchical access model. The main task of dynamic spectrum access is to overcome the types of interferences caused by device malfunctioning and malicious users. Thank you for watching this video. If you find this video to be useful, kindly share, subscribe and like the video.